Mornings at the Skaggs breakfast table haven't been the same for the last four months. Not since this Anna's hummingbird showed up in their backyard. This is only the 12th sighting of an Anna's in Montana. According to the best of bird books, he's supposed to be on the west coast. Apparently he didn't read any of these. Well, you know, it's been fascinating. I mean, it really has. We've got this Anna's here um, that's not supposed to be here at all. And he's been here for four months. I mean, it's fascinating. And we think about all the different scenarios. You know, why is he here? Why did he stay? And then to see how well he's handled our winter, it's, it's amazing. Unlike hummingbirds native to Montana, Anna's hummingbirds don't migrate. And now that he's in his breeding plumage, he fends off other birds hoping for the arrival of a female. And of course everybody's bigger than he is. Um, he'll actually uh, uh, chase them, have like face-offs. Uh, the junco seat, well, there's, there he is right there. Although the skags don't know where his roost is during the night, after countless hours of observing, they have a pretty good idea of his morning routine. When I see him start to fidget and he starts to flash that uh, spectacular gorget, then I know he's getting ready to come in to feed. With supplies of running water and specially heated feeder solutions, this Anna's hummingbird may well have permanently exchanged the hustle and bustle of West Coast life for this Montana hospitality. Craig Jordanet, out amongst Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.